some more vocabulary that we want to make sure we understand from chapter two, and this is in section 2.2 .2 in your text. We're gonna understand the difference between terms, constants, coefficients, and variables. So these are all words or vocab terms that you're gonna be hearing throughout math one and math two. And so when I use those words, we wanna make sure we understand what we're talking about so we don't get lost or confused. So we're gonna use the same expression here, all right? And we're gonna pick out what, um, the, the definition of each of these using this expression. So our first word is a term, okay? A term is anything that's separated by a plus or a minus sign. So in this expression, we have three terms because there are two addition and subtraction signs. So the addition and subtraction signs are separating the term. Now, I did go ahead and circle these terms so that you can kind of pick them out. But we want to remember, in math, the sign that comes before the term is always associated with the term. So what we want to do is make sure that when we're circling our terms, include that sign right in with the number. Because later on, when we learn how to combine terms or add and subtract terms, we want to make sure that we understand that this is a negative 10 or that we're subtracting 10. And the same thing with this 3x. We want to know that it's a positive 3x or that we're adding it. So the sign that comes before the term is always going to stick with that term. It's attached to it. Now, our constants are basically numbers that aren't going to change. Okay, so the negative 10 or this 10 at the end is going to be our constant because there's nothing there to change it. So it, anytime you do anything with this 10, if you move it or whatever, it's just always going to be a 10. It's a constant. So it's basically just a number that doesn't change. It could be a fraction. It could be a decimal. Um, it could be an irrational number, which we'll learn in math too, or it could be a whole number, a counting number, or an integer. So just something, any real number that isn't going to change. And, and it could even be an imaginary number, which we're not going to get into imaginary numbers in math one or math two. A coefficient. The coefficient is the number that comes before a variable. Okay, so when we look, we have these x's right here. The number that comes before it is called the coefficient. Okay, so this three is the coefficient. When we look at this, we have an x squared. I went ahead and underlined something, but there's nothing there. So what is the coefficient of this x squared? It's gonna be the number one. So remember, I, our identity property is one. So it's assumed that the coefficient here is one because no matter what x is or what x squared is, if you multiply it by one, it's always gonna be the same. So anytime you see a letter without a number in front of it, we want to assume that the coefficient is one because that's the identity property of multiplication. And our variables are the x's. So in math, in algebra, you could see any letter. You might see x, y, z, a, b, c, l, m, n, o. You'll see all kinds of different letters being used and that's okay. Um, all the variable represents is some number. We don't know what it is, but it represents some number. And if we were to set this to equal something, then we can find out what it is. But right now, we can't find out. One of the things to look forward to in Math 2 is being able to factor or simplify this expression and actually um, solve it in one way. So that's something that you'll learn in Math 2. But we do want to just make sure that we understand the these words, terms, constants, coefficients, and variables, because they will be words that you hear quite a bit in Math 1 and Math 2.